the only one podcast, and may it be the Prince of the Universe. Hi, folks. I'm Matt. And I'm Bruce. Oh, my goodness. You're here. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> yeah. Well, people aren't going to be happy with you. Why? You, you, you Marvel Shield, you. Marvel Shield. I got to see them all, except for <laughs> But, you know. You had to see the Marvels. I did go see the The Mar- wonderful Marvels. Yes. Well, that's a singing group, right? Is that a musical? <laughs> well, there the Marvels? Was a musical dance number in the middle of the movie oh of course there was yeah. there had to have some show tunes i guess the thing is i actually didn't witness that part because <laughs> henry had to go take a dump and oh and so oh I missed uh, yeah the, you, of the movie but oh i heard about it <laughs> oh okay so so technically you missed it in physicality but you didn't miss it <laughs> <laughs> that thing is overall okay so what are you gonna say dizzy shill <laughs> overall it's not terrible but you know like, you know, my wife, her opinion was, you know, it didn't waste her time, but, you know, okay. she won't be seeing it again. So Annabelle when did you realize your family like was it. woke? You know, I heard going to see this movie is the same as supporting Satan. It's, it is less woke than the first <laughs> Captain Marvel movie. Oh, I, I believe mean, that. It's, I, uh, the thing is, people uh, here's, throw, the, throw the name woke at it because it's got, yeah, you know, yeah, women and women different and yeah. characters. But, you know, it, it, that's stupid. Okay. I mean, if if yeah. that's your reason for calling it woke, that's a Just, stupid reason to call it woke. When it comes out streaming, I'll probably see it. But I have no desire, and here's why. I hated that girl from WandaVision. I thought she was the worst part. I loved WandaVision. I thought she was the worst part. She's fine. Yeah, but she was the least mo- least yeah, well, interesting well, character is, in that show. Her character was forced in WandaVision. It at least has a... Boy, was it. A, a role. But then, and we've already talked about Miss Marvel. Two, the first two episodes are fine. Yeah. And then they had no idea what to do with the show. I mean, the thing is, as far as the movie, she's likable. She's, I mean, she's probably the best part of the movie. She's just very likable. Yeah. And like then the first two episodes well, of the I'm, show. I, yeah, <laughs> the rest of the show is awful. And then Captain Marvel was, I can't remember if it was the first time. One of the first times I went, ooh, this is a misstep. Because it was like, remember the 90s? And it just wasn't that good, yeah. the first one. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't like awful, but I was like, oh, like Megan Washington, we were excited. But, oh, yeah, I remember Blockbuster, huh? Uh-huh. Well, I mean, the thing is, you, know, take, you take the hero's journey of, you know, you start off small and you, you go through adversity and you become, you know, something, you know, um, you know great uh, versus Captain Marvel, which is, you know, you always were great. Um, you were held down by the man. Um, the man. Throughout the shackles and, and nobody can defeat you. Right. Um, and, you know, and then therefore everything's easy. You know, that's kind of one of the dumb aspects of the original Captain Marvel movie. That really wasn't there this time around. Okay. You know, um, a lot of it is, you know, she is flawed. Her, you know. After, oh, she is. Because of actions she took between movies. Um, but, yeah. you know, were set up because, you know, she said she was going to do this in, at the end of the first movie. Okay. Um, you know, she destroys uh, the Supreme Intelligence, which leads to the fall of the Kree. And, you know, and so that's what leading to their, you know, revenge against her. Um, okay. And you can kind of, you know, it, it's like she calls the suffering of a people and she feels bad about it. And she realizes that their actions that she's doing now are, are her fault. She calls it. She, she could have done it better. She killed the Supreme Intelligence out of anger and, and not, you know, didn't have any plan on, you know. What like, happens afterward, you know, the fallout. Afterward. And so, you know, it caused a lot of, you know, pain and suffering and it's her fault. So, this is supposed to ra- wrap up five different Seven. stories. Seven. Okay, so what, can you give me them? Um, What's you know, one of them? The, you, have, you know, the teaser from uh, Spider-Man, the, the last Spider-Man movie. I don't remember it what was, teaser um, was in there. Uh, Nick, Nick Fury in space, which also is... Oh, was that the one he was in space yes. on? Yeah, that's okay. also, uh, you know... That's the storyline we're wrapping up? I mean... An Easter egg, okay, a we're gonna stinger. Very, we're going to go very... Okay, all right, that's fine, that's fine. Like, that's fine, take those don't out. Don't judge them too All right, much six, much. go for it. Okay, we got the you know, follow-up for, for Miss Marvel. Um, we've got follow-up... Follow-up for Miss... She, she did nothing. Nothing happened at the end. There's no follow-up. This continues the it character continues. story. That's, that's okay. the only... The, the, okay, if, keep if going. to break them down... <laughs> Is this the same thing for WandaVision? Well, yes. Oh, jeez. Okay. Now we're down to four. Keep going. Um... 
The secret invasion. The secret, and because it's, it's his wife. Is his Cree his wife? wife is not in that because, because they couldn't afford her. Or could, but, but remember, no, they're together in no, this. No, uh, and the, then the, the secret movie invasion. was filmed before Secret Invasion. <laughs> that was great. Out part of it. Oh but, wow! You know, they did How talk horrible! About, they did talk about the you know, peace trees and the Cree scroll and and stuff that was talked about in Secret yeah. Invasion. In they had the cliff stuff. notes. What a yes. mess! Yes. All right, keep going. Um, What's the other three? I mean, Captain Marvel continues her story. I mean, you you, you didn't tell me it was going to be a pop quiz, but <laughs> well, you said seven. Yeah, I thought it was yeah, five. That yeah. we have five now. No, and the best. I mean, are you aware of the uh, post credit scene? No. Kelsey Grammer's Beast. Why? Well, because they're not going to make him Beast. No, next man. no, no, no. But it was a real. I mean, it, it, took, it was a take my breath away moment. And uh, uh, as far as, as like as far hey, as screen teasers, I remember when fantastic. you say I remember when comic book movies were fun. Yes, it did. Does that mean Brian Singer's coming back? <laughs> <laughs> I'll say this: I've seen it. I've watched a couple Brian Singer movies lately, and I was like, hey, he was pretty good. Yeah, he made some fun movies. Yeah. What about um? What about uh? You talking about uh, X Men? You made me think of something else. Oh, well, I, I, I'm going to digress for a minute here. And really, I think that's leading more into it's, the Deadpool movie because that's going to be uh, a comedy Oh, I can't mess, wait. And it's going to... I, I, I hope so. Know, I, I hope it has I all know, the original I X-Men. It's a convoluted mess, but in the best way. I hope it has all the original X-Men. And, and the 97 cartoon. I want that, too. I want <laughs> it all in there, yeah, as, as the 70s cartoon. Um, uh, real quick, and we'll go back to the Marvels because we're not done with the Marvels yet. Um uh, because so, I'm going to forget it. Pedro Pascal is cast Mr. as Fantastic? yes, yes or no. Is it official? I don't know. I mean, oh, I don't know. I just saw everyone talking about it. People so are talking know. about it. Um, so it's not official. I don't know. I it's rumored. I, I I don't know. I, then I, never I, mind. I don't keep up with this. I just see what the feed says. It. People are talking about it, and I can see it. But at the same time, you know. Yeah, we'll see. You know, I didn't. I, the thing is, he may be a fine actor. Just a lot of the movies he makes are just duds. But I did love him in uh, the Nicolas Cage movie where yeah. he's the biggest. That's a great. He's great in that. They both are. But other than that, I mean, Wonder Wonder Woman two is just bad all around. So the thing is, just, I thought he was good in his in the I, role I, he was given. I didn't think he was, but I didn't like the movie in general, yeah. though. It yeah. wasn't just him, is what I'm saying. The thing is, my first thing, the first thing I knew that I saw him in, other than Buffy, was um, he was in Buffy. He was one of the students at the high school. <laughs> Everyone was. <laughs> was he in an? Did he have his own episode? Uh, no. Oh, so. okay. Um, wow. But uh, you know, uh, it was Game of Thrones, and he was oh. really fun in that. Okay, and, good. Uh, and you know, he's good in Mandalorian. I haven't seen the last. Of okay. Us. Um, or whatever I haven't was. seen that either. Yeah, he's in a bunch of stuff I don't want to see. Is the yeah. thing. But anyway, um, all right. So I don't know, but I, everyone's complaining that wasn't. I knew they're going to complain about it. That he wasn't. It wasn't the guy from that played what movie Fantastic that played him in the alternate universe. Doctor Strange. But there was no way they were going to make office. any of those people no. those characters. That was the fan casting. That was a throwout. I mean, I will say yeah. thank you. Give us that. We enjoyed it. But, yeah. you know, it's not going to happen. No one would. I, I never thought they're not going to cast him because they want to be a new character. I, I honestly thought he'd be younger. I thought the they'd be is, like young kids. I mean, shoot, that last reboot, those kids were like 20s. <laughs> what? How can he be Mr. Fantastic? How about Junior Fantastic? I think the Pedro Pascal is. They got an actor that everybody is loving right now okay. across the board. But he's also Hispanic nationality. And so, therefore... You know, they can go their woke way without causing as many ripples. So, what do you mean? The well, the girl. No one's going to be white in this film. So, you know, no, Human mean, Torch. The thing is, you know, the Invisible Girl wasn't white in the first two <laughs> movies. Yeah, so I mean, there no one's going to be white. So, you know, I mean, you kind of knew that was going to happen. Uh, by the way, so going back to the Marvels here, because I want to, I want to have people raging at you in the comments. Um, who well, was the, I didn't hate it. <laughs> yeah. Bruce loved it, by the way. Didn't say that. Yeah, Bruce it's loved it. It's problematic, but I didn't Bruce loved it. it. I f- I had and Bruce respects whamming. <laughs> hey, certain lines you got to keep going. Just <laughs> I love it. Going. I love it. I love it. So, um, what was it going to... See, guys, if I'm not going to get mad at someone watching New Canon, I can't get mad at someone watching Marvel. Um, what is the... Uh, oh, who is the bad guy? Um, um, Cree woman. 
Oh, well, that she does sound. She was a Kree soldier during okay. the Captain Marvel movie, which we didn't see, but you know they show a flashback where they in, in put Captain, insert her in, her got mad, it. Uh, at Captain Marvel. Oh, and then she became um, an accuser like Ronan. So she's kind of like Ronan, oh. the accuser, and from the Guardians movies. Okay, but you know she got the hammer and the costume okay. and all that stuff. So. Okay, Ronan was a Cree. I, I, I mm-hmm. forgot about that. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've seen those movies. Well, the first two, at least. Um, okay. Bad guy good? Was a good bad guy? Boring bad guy? He was a bad guy. Okay. All right. He was a girl so bad didn't... guy for the girl bad girls. Oh, you know, uh, the good girls are probably what you want to call it. Okay. Yeah. All right. But the so thing is, you... I found the movie fun. Okay. I think it wasn't a waste of time. It wasn't the best of the Marvel. Did you pick up your Black Lives Marvel Matter Marvel. shirt on your way out? <laughs> <laughs> Which, again, would not relate to this movie at all. Okay. okay. So, but, but, but your wife loved it, your kids loved it, everyone no, was fine. No, my, wife, no, 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 my okay. wife said, you know, I didn't waste my time. I didn't waste my time. Okay, Annabelle hold on. didn't said she didn't like. It. M- Megan is completely checked out. She is done with the done with the Marvel universe. I don't remember when it happened. We watched Loki together, but then after a while, she just got bored and just did and not speaking care. Speaking of which, Loki. Okay, well, yeah, we'll go into Loki right now. So Loki season two comes I haven't out. Talked to you about this at all? Yet. We haven't talked to no. We have not talked about it. Um, we both enjoyed the first season. In fact, I do believe that was my number one Marvel show, is yeah. Loki. Barely beating WandaVision, which is excellent. The, the um, thing is, Marvel knocked it out of the park with the first two releases. They did. They really did. And I'll be Set honest. a high bar for everything that came I'll be, out. And Hawkeye was... And it just dropped. Yeah, <laughs> and, but, and Hawkeye was fun. I enjoyed Hawkeye. Hawkeye I enjoy, and I enjoyed pieces oh, of... And that was the other in-scene teaser. Miss Marvel... Meeting up with Kate Bishop, you on a farmer team. <laughs> yeah, I want to see that. I actually like Kate. I know. I like Kate Bishop. So, um, but I like Hawkeye better. Did he come out and crutch and say, I'm still here? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I, uh, I really liked Hawkeye. And uh, so, Loki, season two, I'm ready for it. I do I'll be honest, I didn't understand what was going on half the time. Um, I enjoyed some of the humor. I was a little sad, um, the uh, black security guard lady. Yeah. I really liked her in the first season. Uh, she was down season. this season. And she didn't get a good role here. She was just kind of, it's like they didn't know what to do with her. No, was B-15, B-5. I, the thing is, yeah, it's been so long, I don't remember now. Oh, yeah. But I remember I loved her, and this time yeah. you, you could tell well, you're back for season she two, but we don't have she anything. Was in the first season, yeah. yeah, it was so weird. I said, "You don't guys," and I love the uh, who who I'm just gonna call him Short Round for the rest OB. of my life. Oh my goodness, he was great. He's great. I'm so glad he's getting more roles now. That dude is just amazing. He's amazing. Um, so he was good. Of course, I like Owen Wilson. I mean, I, I think the rest of the supporting cast was good. I'll be honest, the female Loki. You know, she was, was a little downplayed and really kind of, kind of like the, one. Um, she was kind of one note, you know, in a way. But yeah, oh, in, in, but well, then the thing the, is, she finished her storyline in the first season, but they didn't kill her, so they felt like they had to. Have they had her to have her around, but she didn't really do much. She was the same. But, um, I mean, overall, I really and, I enjoyed and, it. it was and good. overall, no, I was going to say overall, it was fine. I enjoyed it. I it kind of came together in the end for me, but. Uh, that Loki is, you know, of course, being the hero, traveling back in time. Of course, they're going to do the Groundhog's Day stuff, which I thought was, was fun. funny. I thought it was Except, funny. You know, he could choose what point he goes to, so he could pick up at different points to learn different things. And he goes, how long will it take? That's the best <laughs> joke. That's the best joke oh, in the whole yeah. season. Where, yeah. he, oh, By the way, spoilers, everyone. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. The best joke of the whole season is, how long will it take for you to say, centuries. centuries. And it says centuries later. <laughs> like <old> SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was so stinking hilarious that he got all the same. He's like, "Oh, and remember, you didn't strap his neck. Oh, oh, I didn't strap it the neck strap. You know, because he knows what everything get, went wrong every time before this. You know, and so that's just. And so I always like the Groundhog's Day story. Yeah. The t- the guy living the same day over and over again. The we talked about this. Stargate is just so good when they did that. 
Um, and then there's, you know, any movie that does Happy it. Happy Death, Death Day is fun. I love Happy Death Day. Uh, Live Die Repeat. Live, Live Die Repeat excellent. It does not, that, that does not, all, all that, that whole storyline does not get old. I mean, Stargate SGU did it even, which I thought was brilliant too. They put a different spin on it though. Um, but it, uh, but but this one they did a great job with it too. And you know, we don't we don't see all the same things. We see a few funny moments, but Loki's just trying to push this thing through. Owen Wilson's just great. The part where he goes back and you see his life with his kids is great. That he sells jet skis. <laughs> and he's all. I mean, Owen Wilson's just good with whatever he does. And it's a shame that he's limited to this TV show because he should be on the stage, man. He should be on the big stage with Jeff Goldblum, who's just hilarious and everything he does. <laughs> And he should really be in one of those bigger roles there. Um, but, yeah, again, the supporting cast is really good. I love at the end, you know, Loki, he, he turns into his regular comp book self, takes all the strings, sits on the throne, and is there just waiting to see. And the thing is, if they don't want to bring him back, then that's the ending for him. Because remember, he's a variant. Yeah. So it's okay. Uh, a lot of people say that bringing Loki back cheapens his death from Avengers. Hmm. Yeah, kind it's of. Because I thought I thought I out. thought that Avenger death was really good. But they kept him out of the sacred timeline, so. Right, and they did, so it's fine there. Um, even though I know that if they do another Thor movie, they would bring back Loki. And the thing is, yeah, it needs Loki. Without Loki, is, they haven't been that good. I've seen articles where. Tom Hiddleston is saying he's done, and I've seen articles that say he looks forward to being in the next Thor movie. So I don't yeah. know what's going on. I mean, they always want to say they're done, but then... And the thing is, that it would cheapen the ending of the show for him just to be the same old Loki in another Thor movie. Yeah. I, and I, I mean, I, he's I, essentially, you know, become a godlike, benevolent figure. Uh, unless they he do... He became the good god king... In a what, way, at the end of this series. What, what about this? What if the next Thor is really just a, a prequel? I would go for that. You know, and it's just Thor and Loki oh, yeah. going gonna, off on a little adventure. You know, we have the... The, 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 uh, the know, party the, people, the yeah. The frog Thor scene. That yeah, really something like that. All that kind of you know. stuff. Maybe do a, little, a few things like that. That would be fine, but I agree. I think the variant should just stay there. There should be no other thing for them. I enjoyed the story. I'm glad. I don't think they went too far. I did think everything was a little far-fetched. Owen Wilson's boss, I don't even know her name in this season. She's barely in it, too. It's just like, hey, we have these people from season one. We had to bring them in for season two, but we have nothing for them to do. <laughs> and this is what irritates me because it's a step down from season one. Well, it still beats anything. Better. It still beats anything that's come out in the past year and a half, maybe two years even. Uh, when did Hawkeye come? It's be, it beats everything after Hawkeye. Since Moon COVID. Knight. COVID. <laughs> Moon Knight. Miss Marvel. Whatever else is there. Um, it's beat it all because it's it's just a better series. But at the same time, it does have its flaws. Now, they knew to say, okay, we're done after season one. I mean, season two. And that's good. They should stop. They shouldn't do more. But is anyone else getting a season two? Seems like they're doing these one-shot, one-series. I'm fine with that. But well, I'm just saying, is anyone... I, I think they might have originally had planned on it. But oh, but now... They, they have... They are revamping their ideas. They are rethinking, retooling. You know, we still have Agatha coming. We still have Echo, Echo. which is right around the corner. Yeah. Um, and but like Daredevil's getting re Daredevil from the... Is being, and, and from what I heard, from the they're ground bringing up. the Loki people to help on it. Because they have the one Good. people like. Good. Good. So, they need a we'll better see. team on it. You know, uh, from what I was reading is that uh, they were filming the TV series the way they would film a movie. They would film all of it. That's good. That's what you should do. Well, yeah, except if it doesn't work, you're screwed. That's true. And that's what we found out. Oh, with Daredevil. Daredevil. They're like, uh, let's start looking at it. Oh, it's not working. We're going to... Uh, see, take, that's... Take Secret Invasion. That was $200 million TV series. And it looks like garbage. It's... It looks like gar... It looks like... It, it, to be honest, if you had told me they spent more than $50 million on it, I'd have been shocked. Shocked. I mean, it is a big movie budget. And without the... And, yeah. you know, it might have been better if it was shorter and in a movie theater. 
and 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 actually had a good story that you yeah, cared they about. They could have trimmed it down. I was bored from start one to start two. I mean, from the beginning to end, there was nothing. It was a big waste of time. It was a huge waste of time. It was a huge waste of time. I was like, wow, there is just nothing to pick from here. There's nothing. There's uh, She Hulk hated it. Love the abomination. Oh my goodness! Tim Roth needs his Tim, own little. Tim Roth is fantastic. He's he's fantastic. I mean, has he ever had a bad role? <laughs> I I can talk. I can talk. Uh, I can say this is what I like from She Hulk. When I saw Tim Roth's Abomination, I smiled. I had a good time, and then I remembered it's not his show, and then I was sad again. <laughs> but there is something. There is nothing in Secret Invasion. Absolutely nothing that I enjoy. Nothing at all. There's not one thing. I was like, this is amazing that they've even lowered the bar like Moon Knight. Not a fan, but I'll admit, the CGI, the costume, it looks great. great. It looked great. There were some good fight scenes, too. It looked good. And and, and a TV show has not looked good since. (laughs) Since Moon Knight. Um, Miss Marvel, like the first two episodes we thought were fun. I'm fine if it, if all she has to do is save her bratty high school friends. It's something small town. That's, that's I'm I, fine with the that. The thing is, I, in the early episodes, I enjoyed the drawings and the. We talked about this on the the, the the graffiti on yeah. the the, the uh, buildings. That was fun. And, but the thing is, though, they just went to garbage. Well, they it, just drop and, all the fun and go to boring. <laughs> and when you go to uh, well, Falcon Winter Soldier. Man, when uh, Baron Zemo is on, is Zeno, Zeno is it Zero? Baron Zemo. Zemo is on there. It's excellent. It's at, he's great. He's yeah, such like a great US character. Agent. And U.S. Agent story arc is great. The is, there's a lot of good in Captain America. You can, you can, well, you can, you can but pull. It has nothing to do with Captain America. You can pull <laughs> gems from the, I'm just saying, you could pull gems from the stuff that you did not like. She-Hulk, it was very little. But at the same time, I, I watched Secret Invasion. like, what is going on? How, how, now I don't like anything. And, and, I, Oh man, it may have been Hawkeye, it may have been Megan's last ado. You know, I don't think she was interested in anything after that. Not even movies have come out either. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy three we watched. No, the but, only MC movie we've got coming up is Dare Deadpool, which is going to be great. That is the only one next year. Now we're going to get a lot of Sony. It's we're what Craven Sony? The Hover. What we're Sony? Craven, doing? Craven the Hunter. We're getting Madam not, Web. Not interested. Madam Web. Oh, oh yeah. Trailer no. coming soon. No. <laughs> No. See the pictures. Sorry. Dude, dude, it might be amazing. I'm okay. telling you, this is Meg 2 levels of amazing. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. This could be really, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I'm not. The, from, from a bit of Are they, they're not going to do anything with Tom Holland anymore, I guess. Spider-Man? Uh, they want to because he was successful. But Yeah, big bank man. You know, that's, I mean, and the thing is, he might just be... Being well, why smart, don't, why don't they money. why don't they back up the money truck for Sam Raimi and Tobey Maguire? Because I think when you spawn that, I thought, man, now they can do Andrew Garfield again, give him his third movie, uh, give t- Tobey Maguire his own. Because the they ought to just drop Andrew Garfield in the Venom movies. I mean, you, they got the separate world. Just say that's the same world. Or, or oh, Andrew that would Maguire. be awesome. Either one, either one. That would be awesome. Do it that way, and then have him in Venom with with finding his Mary Jane. Yeah. And then uh, I, I heard someone say this online. They could, and I thought I loved it. Tobey Maguire is an older Spider-Man, older Peter Parker, but that's a good thing because he's going to train a young Miles Morales in his movies. Well, the thing is, some people already go with that's the older Spider-Man that's in the uh, Spider-Verse movies because the yeah. Tobey Maguire character. Yeah, but I'm just saying you could actually do live action with that. And unfortunately, Sam Raimi couldn't do Craven the Hunter um, <laughs> now. But 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 let Sam Raimi pick some other oddball. You know, there's there's a big cache at Tombstone, and you know all these other ones. You know, have him fight against his little ones, teaching young Miles Morales, or have a uh, oh man, have funny jokes from Andrew Garfield. Just so great. He is my favorite Spider-Man. I love all the Spider-Man. I think all the Spider-Man, all three were great. But Andrew Garfield, his movie sucked. Yeah, his movies are terrible. terrible movie. But he was a great Peter Parker. <laughs> he was great. And um, my, my sister, when she watched that one, she watched all the other old Spider-Mans again. It made her want to watch the other Spider-Mans. And I thought, wow, Sony did it. They hit the jackpot and went, okay, great. When's, here's Tom McGuire's new movie. Here's the Because you... you Double down on Spider-Man, baby. Spider-Man, different universes. I mean, Spider-Man across the multiverse, into the multiverse, whatever the second one was. That was good. That was fun. I had a fun one. Did you see that one? Oh, yeah. What's it called? 
across I, across the yeah. Spider-Man. I, I don't. Or, it, they, oh, wow. I love it. I love Part it when one. they say. I love <laughs> it when they say. Let's just make them all sound similar, please. <laughs> I love it when they do that. Um, did you see? I want to ask you this one. Did you see Expendables four? I have not seen Expendables four. Don't. I pretty much decided. Yeah. Yeah. Don't. Don't don't go see it. Don't go I, see it. I, I probably I'm a, I'm the Expendables fan, but and because I I'm the fan, I feel like I just need to skip this one. Yeah, don't don't. I think I said this on the podcast here, but it's like, how can Megan Fox look so gorgeous, but just she's not sexy? How does that work? It's like this, Fo- you know, hey, hey. she's a pretty girl, but nothing about her. And they try to make her the sexy I get girl. It. I get it. I've always thought that about Megan Fox. I've always looked at her and said she's a beautiful woman who I'm not attracted, attracted to. to I, that's so weird. I think the same thing. I say, what a pretty girl. I have zero attraction to her. And, you know, they're putting her in the lacy things and, and the stuff. And people always talked about her. And I'm just like, why? She was never that attractive. Never. She's beautiful, but yet not yeah, that, that the sexy that, type. She that zero sex appeal. I don't know. That maybe that's just us. But uh, I mean, but then again, you dated a girl like her before, so. I went time when we told that story, the story where we so. Uh, we were going to go out, <clears throat> and uh, she wore some jeans that were slashed everywhere. And I mean everywhere to let me know that all she was wearing was jeans. That's the kind of slashes <laughs> I'm talking about. So when she walked out, I was like, okay. She's like, so where are we going out? I said, yeah, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to order pizza and stay here tonight because you're not going anywhere with no pants. You know, but I wasn't complaining either. But anyway, <laughs> you were dating your, your would-be wife at the time. And this is like one of my favorite moments, though. Because I knew, I knew the pants were a little too much. Only she did not realize that. And she's so nice to Rachel. And then as y'all are going out, Rachel turns around and with, the sarcasm <laughs> the actual words were dripping from her mouth like bile on the floor <laughs> and she went oh and by the way i love your pants <laughs> and i mean it was like not a, and i remember i remember i thought uh, you and i were like Get getting we were like i was like jerry jerry you know i thought i thought this uh. this is it she was going to come off the couch and just tackle her, and it was going to be like Calvin and Hobbes when Calvin comes home from school. It's going to be like, bam, and we're going to see him fight. And then she just goes, oh, you do? You like them? D- just t- totally oblivious, and then t- starts doing a period. I cut them myself. I didn't even know that. So I was like, ugh. But that was, a, that was a good time. But, yeah, she wasn't Megan Fox. I've always really saw a parallel. Oh. A parallel. Oh, okay. <laughs> the other funny story with her is uh, uh, Matt, another friend of ours, Matthew, who thought he was God's gift to women, said he was going to ask her out. He should, and I said, "Yeah, you should." And I was, I didn't tell him when I was dating. I said, "Yeah, you should, you should totally." He's like, "Dude, she is into me. I can feel it. I know it." And I said, "Yeah, me too, man. You should totally." And he did. He got so mad. He went, "Oh, you think it's so funny? You're dating her? Yeah." And he just said. I said, well, you were just so sure that she was in love with you. I didn't want to take that love away from you. <laughs> uh, wow. I call my ex-girlfriend Megan. It's funny, though, because when uh, Megan was looking up all the uh, ex-girlfriends, uh, she came. She was like, oh, you liked her? She's ugly. Oh, yeah, yeah she's very ugly. What? And said, yes, of course. And then she got to ask her, she's Old looking. Yeah, she's super old. Like, she looks like someone's mom. <laughs> yeah, I always want to make sure you're better than everyone else. But when she came to her, she went, she's old looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just decrepit. How could I How could I date Aunt May from Spider-Man? Well, Aunt May circa, circa 1997, <laughs> not to 2017, that's for sure. Marissa Tomei. If they reboot Spider Man again, Aunt May is going to be younger than Peter Parker, mm. you know, or the same <laughs> age, you know, get, girl gets younger. But anyway, all right, folks. So let us know what you thought about Loki in the comments. Did you like the show? And also, 
Let us know how big a sellout <laughs> Bruce is for going to see the Marvels. And we'll see you next time. And not disliking uh, it. <laughs> and not disliking it. Not saying does, yeah. Wait, does this mean you're going to go broke? No. Because you woke? Isn't that what the cool kids say? Don't force woke on everything. If everything is woke, then nothing (laughs) is. Come on, people. Did we learn nothing from the Invincibles? We'll see you next time on Prince of the Universe.